today's video, we are going to talk about factoring sum and difference of two cubes. In factoring sum and difference of two cubes, we have two different forms that you need to remember. The first one is the sum of two cubes, and that is written in the form of x cubed plus y cubed. The factored form of x cubed plus y cubed, that is x plus y times the quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. The other one is the difference of two cubes, and that is x cubed minus y cubed. The factored form of x cubed minus y cubed, that is x minus y times the quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared, where x and y are real numbers. So those are the different forms that you need to remember in factoring sum and difference of two cubes. So let's have the first example. On number one, we have a cubed plus 64. As you can see, the given example is written in the form of the sum of two cubes, and that is x cubed plus y cubed. So to find the factored form of the given expression, let us have the value of x cubed, and that is the first term, that is a cubed, and y cubed, that is the last term, that is 64. And to find the value of x, let us find the cube root of a cubed, and that is a, and to find the value of y, that is the cube root of 64, and that is 4. So let us have x cubed plus y cubed, that is x plus y, times the quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. So we are going to have x plus y, and that is a plus 4. And then we have x squared. Since the value of x, that is a, so we are going to have a square and then x times y that is a times 4 that is 4a and then we have y square since the value of y that is 4 so we are going to have 4 square and that is 16 and this will be our answer number two we have 8b cubed minus 27c cubed as you can see the given example in number two is written in the form of x cubed minus y cubed. And x cubed minus y cubed, that is x minus y times the quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared. So let us identify first the value of y cubed. y cubed, that is the first term, so that is 8b cubed. And to find the value of x, let us find the cube root of 8b cubed, that is 2b. And then y cubed, that is the last term, which is 27c cubed. And to find the value of y, let us find the cube root of 27c cubed, that is 3c. So let us have x, that is 2b, minus y, that is 3c. So let us have x, which is 2b, and then let us have a square plus x, we have 2b times y, that is 3c. And then y square, that is quantity 3c raised to 2. So let us simplify this one. Let us write 2b minus 3c and 2b raised to 2, that is 4b square. Let us write the sign. And then 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6, and then we have bc plus 3c raised to 2, that is 9c square. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have 27c cubed plus d cubed. As you can see, the given example is written in the form of x cubed plus y cubed. x cubed plus y cubed, that is x plus y times the quantity x squared minus xy plus y squared. So let us identify the value of x cubed, and that is the first term, which is 27c cubed. And to find the value of x, let us find the cube root of 27c cubed, and that is 3c. And then let us have y cubed, 
that is the last term, which is d cube. And to find the value of y, that is the cube root of d cube, and that is d. So let us have x, which is 3c, plus y, that is d. And then we have x squared, so we are going to have 3c raised to 2 minus x, which is 3c times y, that is d, plus y squared, so we are going to have d squared. So let us simplify. This will be 3c plus d times the quantity 3c raised to 2, that is 9c squared. And then let us have negative 3 cd plus d square and this will be our answer on number four we have 8 e cube f raised to 6 minus 125 g cube so this time the given example is written in the form of x cube minus y cube and x cube minus y cube that is x minus y times the quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared. So the value of x cubed, that is the first term, that is 8 e cubed f raised to 6. And to find the value of x, let us find the cube root of this one. The cube root of 8, that is 2. The cube root of e raised to 3, that is e. And the cube root of f raised to 6, that is f squared. And then, let us have y cubed, that is the last term, which is 125 g cubed. And to find the value of y, let us find the cube root of this one. The cube root of 125, that is 5, and the cube root of g raised to 3, that is g. So this time, let us have x, which is 2e f square minus y, that is 5g, times... We have x squared, so we are going to have 2e f squared raised to 2 plus x, that is 2e f squared times the value of y, that is 5g plus y squared, that is 5g raised to 2. And to write our final answer, this will be 2 e f square minus 5g and then let us have this one 2 raised to 2 that is 4 e raised to 2 that is e square f square raised to 2 that is f raised to 4 and then let us have 2 multiplied by 5 that is 10 and then let us write the variables e f square g plus 5 g square that is 25 g square and this will be our answer in our last example we have 27 times the quantity c plus d raised to 3 minus e cube as you can see the given example is written in the difference of two cubes that is x cube minus y cube and that is x minus y times the quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared. So let us find the value of x cubed, and that is the first term of our given, which is 27 times the quantity c plus d raised to 3. And to find the value of x, let us find the cube root of this one. The cube root of 27, that is 3, and the cube root of quantity c plus d raised to 3, that is quantity c plus d so you can write the value of x as 3c plus 3d and then y cube that is the last term which is e cube and to find the value of y let us find the cube root of e cube that is e so let us have x which is 3c plus 3d and y that is e and then we have x square so we are going to have quantity 3c plus 3d raised to 2 plus this one that is x so that is 3c plus 3d times y that is e plus y square so we are going to have e square 
And to write our final answer, this will be 3C plus 3D minus E. Let us simplify this one. We have a square of binomial 3C multiplied by itself, that is 9C squared. And then 3C multiplied by 3D, that is 9CD times the constant 2, that is 18CD. And then 3D multiplied by itself, that is 9D squared plus 3C multiplied by E, that is 3CE. And then 3D multiplied by E, that is 3DE plus E squared. And this will be our answer. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.